Good morning everyone and a very warm welcome to the channel. Thank you for joining me. I hope you've had a fantastic Christmas, a really excellent new year and thanks for joining me on today's tour which is in Peckham in South East London touring a rental property that we've got coming up for uh, available for £3,000 a month. It's a very modern, very unique top floor apartment with three bedrooms and a roof terrace. This kicks off the uh, tours for 2024 so let's get into the detail. Okay, let's kick off outside. Now this building is called Key House and it's actually a mixed use scheme. The property we're going to see is the top two floors there. So you've got the barrel vaulted roof and then uh, there's a terrace leading from the, uh, the main front room there. But this is the, the main building and it actually used to be a milk depot, a milk distribution depot serving the Peckham area many, many years ago. If anybody knows any more about the, uh, the history of that or knows or has any photographs, I'd love to see them. Perhaps you could leave some comments below. Now that's heading down Kings Grove, that's a dead end road, doesn't go anywhere, nice and residential, lots of Victorian properties along there. And then just to my right here, we've got the main road where you can actually walk from here to Peckham Rye, you can get to uh, central Peckham and you can also walk to Campbellwell Green. You've also got Queen's Road Station which is just around the corner and uh, very very nice, nicely located, gets you into central London very quickly in around 15 minutes and I'm going to head through that front door now up the stairs and we're going to have a tour of the flat. Right then, so as uh, where I am standing at the moment just down the bottom there is the communal door which I alluded to from outside. As you walk up this very thick set heavy concrete staircase you climb and you've just got two floor sorry two doors on your left there as you pass to reach the front door for this flat which is front door here and you've got a window here which just overlooks the area to the rear just over there that so uh, you can see that train moving that's the um, that's the station uh, station that's Queenstown at uh, Queens Road station and this uh, it's a great void here you've got this metal roof above overlooking this stairwell right let's get inside and there we are inside the the, lo the little lobby for for the entrance here with views from the back there's lots of light there's really big windows everywhere in this apartment it's a really bright flat I mean it's not the best day but uh, you get a sense from looking at the back there what the natural light is all about now I'll be honest I did debate whether I shoot this film today because the tenants have not long moved out and it's not been professionally cleaned and it's not been professionally uh, tidied up yet. It will be going through a big rigorous program of uh, tidying up in preparation for the next set of tenants uh, once they're ready to, to move in. So you are seeing it in a bit of a raw state. So uh, this is not how we would normally leave it. Just to my left here, we've got a, a, a guest loo, which I'll step back a bit. We've got a guest loo in here and immediately just to the right we have little shower cubicle nice and neat now as we walk around on this level particularly there is co polished concrete floor everywhere this level on there's two floors in this apartment and this entire level has got underfloor heating so it's a nice cozy room and then directly above it you see some of those nice big windows and this big curved barrel vaulted ceiling which is two, essentially two layers of metal which, is, which sandwich a very, very thick set of uh, insulation. Now just to point out, the owners of this uh, property actually originally built it for themselves and I, had, I, I put a video of this on, the, on TikTok and had a few sarcastic comments about it being cold and, and uh, not particularly eco-friendly, which actually is not the case. I think from memory it's a B rating EPC and the tenants who had been here, uh, for, who took over from the owners, they actually were here for four or five years, loved it, and were really complimentary about the way that this place can be kept. So you just leave this underfloor heating at a very low setting on permanently during the winter. It doesn't take up too, it doesn't drain too much energy, but it keeps it at a nice ambient temperature. Kitchen, open plan to the main living space. 
You've got a five ring gas hob, you've got a well, the freestanding oven with the five ring gas hob and the electric uh, um, oven below. Washer dryer over there, fridge and a freezer. And there's a dishwasher just over to the left of the washing machine. And this floor has got one of the bedrooms. Again, polished concrete floors in here, big windows, decent sized room. Views down over Kings Grove. And you can access, I oh know you can't, sorry, I thought you could. I thought that was a sliding door, but it's not. Okay. And just back out and quick turn of this key and we're onto the private terrace. It's uh, again with this not looking great I'm going to pull that tree up in a minute we just had the worst uh, winds and thunderstorm the last 24 hours so we're seeing the aftermath of uh, what's been going on with the weather the, um, recently in London. And that's looking back down Kings Grove again and then if I just pan left that's the top of the top of the road. Right, let's head inside. Right, over here and just in the lobby area here, we've got one of the other bedrooms. Again, big window, all the windows are, are double glazed and you've got the polished concrete floor in this room again with the underfloor heating bit of storage there another window and then you've got this marine ply feature wall and I'm not sure what the uh, thinking was then lots of key hooks I'm not entirely sure what they were for but uh, interesting feature okay let's head upstairs so we've got this vinyl stairs that lead up neatly to the this box sort of semi landing uh, with this this picture view over the living room which I really like it's neat and you get a real sense of the scale of that room from up here as well it's a great room we're all party pad, uh, pad actually and just to my right we have well the owners called it, and the, and the tenants used to just call this the, the reading room or the snug. It's really neat. They, they had lots of sort of throws and duvets and pillows. And uh, it's just a really nice place, a cosy place just to sit yourself, sit yourself away from what's going on outside and just chill out for a bit. Another bedroom. Again, you've got the other side of the barrel vaulted ceilings over here as well more windows now this floor is uh, heated with radiators so there's no underfloor heating up here and all of this floor primarily is made up with the uh, marine ply which has been laid everywhere and then another window out to the back that's actually a futon bed but uh, it's a standard size double, so you get a, hopefully an idea of the size of this room. Plus you've got a nice little bit of wardrobe storage here. And this door is the neat Jack and Jill bathroom arrangement with the other bedroom, just over the other side there. And if I just, there we go. So you've got matching wash hand basins, Another shower cubicle, another, this side you've got the other, as with the bedrooms you've got this barrel vaulted ceiling going on, and a nice bathtub. This floor's vinyl flooring rather than the marine ply for obvious reasons, more practical from a bathroom perspective. And then the last of the bedrooms. With its own little private balcony where you have really got some of the most amazing views of the city over there 
see the shard and she's just further over to the left and you're creeping over into uh, Elephant and Castle that's the strata building over there and just behind that you may you'll be able to see it but that's the London Eye but a nice sized balcony really nice for a little bedroom arrangement the previous tenants actually used this as an office it worked really really well they were working from home so this worked really well kept everything tucked away and then from here You've got this galleried hallway which brings us back neatly to the big living space below. Okay folks, that's it. The three bedroom, uh, two level modern apartment over here in Peckham in South East London available for rent for £3,000 per month unfurnished or pretty much as you see. now. I can't leave a link just yet for the property details because we don't have them, because we can't take the photographer yet, because it's not ready to be photographed. However, if you are interested and you'd like to know more, you can contact me directly. Uh, you can either go to the website, uniquepropertycompany.co.uk, or you can email me directly, simon.stone at uniquepropertycompany.co.uk, and I'll take care of everything. So that's it. Thanks again for watching. Hope to see you on the next tour. Please give this one a thumbs up and a like or anything you'd like to make a comment on. Obviously, usual, please leave them in the comments box below. But uh, until then, please look after yourself and I'll see you on the next tour.